The Soldier of the Month competition on FOB Fenty is setting a high standard. The PT test alone pushes soldiers to their limit at the very start of competition. These soldiers have to do three minutes of push-ups, three minutes of sit-ups, and a three and a half mile run, all in ACUs and boots. Throwing in some pull-ups and dips to squeeze out that last bit of energy. Get up, get up. After being pushed to the limit physically, the contestants are put through a stress shoot, a rifle range combined with endurance tests and done in full battle rattle. Most of the physical tasks, like carrying tires and sandbags, yeah, I can, I can do those. Uh, I thought I was pretty confident when it came to the stress shoot. For the next event, the troops have to focus on their technical training. The company sets up a series of stations to test each candidate on map reading, first aid, communications, weapons, and calling for fire. Animation. The final event of the day is a review board where the soldiers are questioned on everything from force protection to cultural awareness. Ultimately, the competition is designed to improve the competitor's skills for real world use. Personal confidence in yourself and your fellow soldiers that if we do go somewhere, he'll know how to use that weapon system. He'll know how to use the radio. He'll know how to provide aid to me if I'm injured. That's, that's the biggest benefit of this. PFC Jonathan Ward from the Personal Security Detachment scored the highest overall to earn the Soldier of the Month this time around. Didn't think that I was going to get it at all. So I, uh, I'm very excited that I did. And when I did get it, I, uh, I mean, I had a smile on my face. The front line is everywhere now, and any soldier may have to use these skills at any time. Competitions like the Soldier of the Month ensure that headquarters company is keeping its soldiers combat ready. Give these guys a round of applause. Specialist Nathan Bowen, Jalalabad, Afghanistan.